This is the Haig SM1 suction mount. You get a double ball bracket, a camera plate, a extension spindle and the pad itself. Now this is a vacuum type suction pad with a plunger which sucks the air out of the pad to form the vacuum. It has a protection cap which can be removed and it's this seal around the very edge here of the pad, the very edge, it's that that forms the seal. It's a rubber type pad so it's quite flexible and can be put on slightly curved surfaces. To mount the pad onto the vehicle First of all, make sure the surface is clean. It's got to obviously be a non-porous surface. Use a damp cloth, clean the surface, and also clean round the outer edge of the pad. That's where the seal is. Now press the pad onto the surface. Now if it's slightly curved surface, you've got to make sure you get that seal firmly down, otherwise you won't get it to stick. Now pump very quickly on the plunger, the easiest way is with a single finger and then it will grab and just keep pumping away until it won't pump anymore. That gives you a nice firm grip onto the vehicle. Now on these plungers there's a red line. Um, if the red line's just slightly showing that's usually okay but if the red line comes right out here you know the plunger needs re-pumping. Now get the double ball bracket. This fastens can fasten into the cup either that way around on top or in the side hole. We're going to put it in the side hole there. Just tighten the screw up there and get the camera plate and place that onto the other end. Get that securely fastened on there. Get there in a minute. Now get your camera and pop that onto the camera plate. Now the camera can be mounted either long ways on along the um, camera plate or sideways on, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just fasten that onto that there, that secures the camera to the camera plate. Now we're going to position this to the required position. Uh, obviously with this being a nice double ball bracket you can get it in all sorts of positions. What I do usually is I just get it roughly in position, just slightly lock that off. This handle can be repositioned for locking. Um, I use then the flip out screen just to frame up the shot, to make sure everything's set right and then lock it all off and that's then nice and rigid. This time we're going to put the mount onto the windscreen. Now obviously sometimes the windscreens are slightly curved so you do have to press down hard. The best position is to, is to get this hole, the hole going through that way, in a straight line so that it's looking straight. Press the pad firmly onto the windscreen and then again pump very very quickly on the plunger until the red line disappears. That fastens it to the window. Get your double ball bracket. Now, depending on your size of camera, um, for most small cameras, if you use that hole, put it in that way round, tighten the screw up. Now your camera plate this time is being reversed. So the camera plate is going to sit this way round. Onto there. Now for most small cameras that is probably the best position. And then pop your camera on. This is a good position because it gets the lens very close to the window so it prevents the uh, reflections. Tighten your screw up. You usually use your flip out screen again with your camera switched on to get your best position. Once you've settled on your position Lock that handle up, I say that can be moved around, make sure that's really tight, that both your knobs are tight, and there you go. 
very sturdy position. Quite often used on track days, um, it's a very popular mount, I also use it on the TV programmes. Um, obviously if your camera is a bit bigger, you could put it into that hole and use that hole instead. But we do also have the extension spindle and the reason for the extension spindle is so that you could put that on and then the camera plate onto there which gives you a lot more clearance so you could put a bigger camera on it. Now when you come to remove the pad, obviously it's fastened on there very securely, you have to prise up this lug here. There's a rubber lug just there. That is prized up, takes a bit of doing, which forms a little gap there which lets the air in which releases the pad.